So, here we have our metallurgy going on. How many years you've done this? Since you were a child. Yes. But I start working uh, 10 years from now. When I was born, blacksmith. Right. My father's okay. blacksmith. Your father's a blacksmith. Okay. Okay. That's the oil there? Blast furnace with a blower. Pardon me? Yes. Vacation? Yep. who have fought. We're going to look at some of the Moro swords that are in our collection from the Moro people of the southern Philippines. They're Muslim, Muslim warriors who have fought uh, for centuries against the Spanish, against the Americans, and now against the Filipinos. The first one we'll look at is this one here, which is a Chris. K-R-I-S is how it's spelled. It's handmade. All of these are handmade. Uh, the curved blade, you see Chris's with great curves, sometimes with smaller curves. The idea is to evoke a snake. In this case, it's a snake at rest, but also with a latent power ready to move forward and strike. You'll notice, too, right up here at the hilt, this decorative, very intricate decorative uh, metalwork. But it's also very, very sharp on the edge. So not only can you stab, you can also slash here as well. So it's very beautiful, it's very spiritual, but at the same time is also very deadly. Chris's are deeply spiritual weapons. This next weapon we'll look at, which is probably the most common of all of the weapons that the Moros carry, is the Barong which is a very simple, wide blade, very heavy sword designed to slash and cut. Uh, this particular one is rather ornate with metal and then with a nice ivory handle here as well. Interpretation of the expression of the culture comes from the scabbard itself. Where this particular warrior you can see has, uh, has carved in various designs, in this case a five-pointed star with flags coming off of them. And then you'll notice uh, 1917 dated U.S. coins have been placed all in various places along the scabbard as well. Um, which you can you, you the can last one I'll show you is a very ornate spiritual one. significance but here. If you look, it's hand done, hand done, hand carved Moro dagger, ivory handle, and then you can see the. Uh, but this particular one was presented to General MacArthur at the end of World War II by uh, you can see his name right here, Detu, which is the Moro word for chieftain, Busran Kala. World War II is one of the very few times the Moros and the United States, the Moros and the Christians, the Christian Filipinos and the Americans, fought all on the same side against the Japanese. And in recognition of this, and Kalal was one of their major leaders, and in recognition of this, he had this hand done and hand carved and presented to General MacArthur, as he put it here, in memory of World War II. 